Now it's time to hit the road and see why Cochise County is a perfect spot for your next family vacation trip. Destry has the details. Do you want a quick getaway? Well, the weather is perfect for getting outside and exploring nature and beautiful birds. And one of the best places to go is Cochise County. Ken Blankenship is here with more. Thanks so much for talking with us today. I understand you're the owner and lead guide for East West Birding Tours. What got you into birding? Uh, birding is actually about learning. Uh, so it's really about learning about the nature that's all around us through the lens of, of the birds and their songs, um, their, their behaviors, their colors. Um, and, uh, you know, as a former teacher, um, I'm really passionate about sharing that knowledge. And so um, that's really what I enjoy is, is taking, a, taking the time to share my knowledge of birds uh, in a fun and, and informative way on our tours. And, uh, and hey, birding is not just for grandma, okay? I want to okay. make sure we're clear. I that. like that. <laughs> Why do you think birding. Cochise County, birding. though, is such a great place to bird? Well, I think the key word there is biodiversity. Um, we have recorded up to 485 species of birds just in Cochise County. Wow. So uh, since naturalists first described some of the plants and animals here uh, in the 1800s. So um, we have, we're talking about grasslands, canyons, mountains, and deserts here. Uh, and with the diversity of the nature comes the diversity of our birds. And what would you say some of your favorite places to bird in Cochise County are? Well, probably hands down is the Huachuca Mountains. Um, uh, that's kind of my playground uh, with uh, world famous birding in Ramsey Canyon, uh, buzzing with hummingbirds and uh, warblers and a very exotic bird, the elegant trogon. Um, I also really enjoy uh, the San Pedro River. It's a protected river here uh, and there are pathways throughout the San Pedro River to maybe spot a gray hawk or an endangered yellow-billed cuckoo. Um, and uh, in the wintertime, uh, nearby Wilcox uh, in that valley is a place called Whitewater Draw, and there are tens of thousands of sandhill cranes, geese, and ducks, wow. uh, and they even have a festival centered on that. So in the winter, it's a great place to go to Wilcox and Whitewater Draw. Now, what about birding events? Does the county host any of those? Uh, yes, actually, Cochise County hosts three birding uh, kind of focused events. There's the one I kind of alluded to, the WOW or Wings Over Wilcox in January, which is uh, all about the cranes and the waterfowl. Uh, and then there are two uh, festivals in Sierra Vista, uh, the Southwest Wings uh, Spring Fling, as well as the, uh, the, the monsoon rain uh, season. So they've got one festival the first week of May and another one here in Sierra Vista the first week of August. All right, that sounds like a lot of fun. So much to do there too. What else would you tell people to go check out in Cochise County? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, there, there's a uh, really and truly there's stuff that I love to do. There's stuff for couples. Um, there's there's stuff for uh, families with their kids to do, too. Um, the old west town of Wilcox actually is uh, is also in the heart of wine country. They have tasting rooms and wineries that are open uh, to the public. Uh, Karchner Caverns State Park nearby uh, okay. offers the opportunity to go underground in Cochise County, and they'll take you through these caverns that were only recently discovered in the 1970s. And if people really kind of like to get a little further out there, there's a little hamlet called Portal in the Chiricahua Mountains and the Chiricahua National Monument for hiking and the rock formations are, are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so much to see and do. Thanks so much for sharing with us today. No problem. It's been my pleasure. All right. And everyone, if you want to learn more, all you have to do is go to explorecochise.com.